What's up, guys? King Bimo TV here. Going to do another qualifier play-in. Um, if you don't mind, take a second, like, subscribe to the video. A lot of people watch my videos that are not subscribers. I'd appreciate it if you could. I'm trying to grow the channel. Can't do it without your help. Uh, let's get into it. All right. Um, I'm going to say this looks pretty good. We do have a land, which is kind of a miss, right? We don't really want that. Uh, innkeeper's talent is good, right? Two mana, put a one-one counter on target creature you control. Level two permanents you control with counters on them have ward one. Four, if you put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many instead. Okay, probably not great. Uh, it would be better in Modern Horizons. Whisk Veil Forerunner is really good. Starfall Invocation is a Wrath with upside, so that's awesome. Like, worst case, it's 5 mana Wrath. Best case, it's 5 mana Wrath and bring one of your creatures back. Valley Quest Caller is really good. Uh, 2 mana, 2, 3 other rabbits, bats, birds, mice you control get plus 1, plus 1. Whenever one of those come into play, scry one. Keen Eye Curator, just a nice, solid green creature. And Osteomancer Adept. Uh, good in the black green squirrel deck. So it looks like we're like a green white deck based on our rares. No surprise there. Uh, but we got to see what we have here. Wow. We have three of these star charters. Just taking a glance at what we have first before we separate them. I don't remember. Oh, black is not deep at all. So let's. We can kind of discount black. Probably just be green white here. It's unfortunate. I was hoping black might be good since we have three of these bat batty cards. But. Um, black doesn't look very strong. Red. Red looks whatever. Green looks good. I think we're green white. Looking at the green card, the gold cards. Yeah, it's funny. The gold cards are just so not deep like they were in the uh, Modern Horizons. So let's see what our green white looks like. Brave Kin Duo. I don't know if we want to play three Crumb and get it, but maybe two. Uh, I haven't played green-white yet in this format. I know it's very popular. I just haven't. It's so early in this format. So Season Warren Guard, one mana, one, two. Uh, right, okay. It could be a three, two of you have a token. Uh, Bat, that's cool. Nettle Guard's cool. Quest Caller. Trepid Rabbit's great. Thistledown Players is fine. Star Charter. Four mana, three, one, flying. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain or lost life this turn, look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a creature card, a pal, three or less from among them, put it in your hand. Alright, how are we gaining life? Food. Life Creed Duo. Like, I wish we had more Life Creed Duos. Maybe we play more than three Crumb and... Maybe we play three Crumb and get it, because Valiant... Guess how many Valiant cards do we have? We actually we may not have many. Yeah, I think we just have the one, right? Uh, two. Two Valiant cards. Yeah, I want to play all these Star Chargers, but it may not make sense. And hopefully we have a lot of green gain life. Longstalk Brawl is good. Sun Shower, do it. Put a 1-1 one, one counter to our creature, gain one life. Did I say do it? I think I said do it. Uh, Innkeeper's Talent, probably... Keen Eye Curator, yes. Bramble Guard Veteran, yes. Herbalist, yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know for this foodie to this card to be good. Whenever a, another squirrel food, let me, I'll think about that one. Sticky Ton Sentinel is pretty good. Tree Guard Duo is good. Um. Do I want to play Moonrise Cleric? Maybe. Gaining life with Star Charger. Gooseberry Cultivator. Patchwork Banner is a nice card. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on a target creature. I don't know, should we go like all in on these counters? Oh, it doesn't seem that good. Should it just be like a green white aggro deck with Wrath?
This also gains one life. Yeah, I think I could play this guy. This gets a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Alright, so if we do all our 1-1 one, one counter stuff, this we're obviously way over playables here. Even this is like, makes 1-1 one, one counters. Again, so early in the format, is this card good? I don't know. This card's expensive. It's probably okay and limited. All right. Way over playables here. If we're doing all the 1-1 one, one counter stuff. 1, 2... Three. Oh, this this does pump itself to three. Sort of four. I don't know how many counters, how many foods and squirrels we have though. We have two squirrels. I think we should abandon our squirrel game here. Star Charter seems good. We're just not going to gain life that much. Where is our other squirrel? Find the squirrel. This guy? Yeah, squirrel. I don't know. The 1-1 one, one counter thing seems pretty good. We got to make some cuts, man. This card can become pretty powerful, but we're not squirrels, so we're not making much food or anything. I think we'll get rid of that one. I like Moonrise Cleric, but it really just makes Star Charter better, but we have three Star Charters, so I think it's reasonable to do things to make them better. This is 21 creatures, which is not too much, but too much. Rabbit is still the call with Patchwork Banner. We have too many three drops. Are we making a lot of tokens? Like, is this going to be good ever? We don't have much offspring. We have the Intrepid Rabbit. We have three offspring cards that make tokens. That's it. I think we'll cut this uh, Warren Guard then. That's 20 creatures. We'll probably just cut three creatures. This probably triggers Valiant, right? So that's good. Yeah, I think we'll play that one. Too many three drops. I think this guy can probably go. Three mana, one four. Yeah, that can go. I'd like to cut a three drop too. I think the Moonrise Cleric is cool because it is flying too. That could be helpful. Two more cuts. I want to play 17 lands. Thistledown Players is... It does trigger Valiant, but we only have two Valiant cards in our deck anyway, so I think we can cut that one. That clears up the three drop space. I think all our four drops are worth playing. I kind of want to cut a Star Charger, but it's a pretty powerful card. Look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal a creature card of power value three or must less from among them. Put it in your hand. That's probably all our creatures but two. That's a lot. That's like we should hit every time. That's 16 creatures. So that's like almost half our deck. I think I like playing two Crumb and Get It since we have so many creatures.
Raccoon Juke Control got plus one, plus one in Vigilance. I know that card's good, but we don't have a lot of raccoons. We have one, two, three, some other one. Could just cut a crumb and get it. Yeah, I think we'll just cut a crumb and get it. 18 creatures. One combat trick. I like more than one combat trick. I put it back in. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Giving the vigilance. Like, if we play this on turn two and this on turn three and anything on turn four, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut the maybe the sticky tongue sentinel. Sticky tongue sentinel is good with sun shower druid. Rabbit. I guess it triggers valiant, right? All right, I'm gonna get rid of sticky tongue sentinel. Okay. 17 creatures, mostly white, a little green. It's probably 9-8 anyway. Because we do have double green, a couple double green spells. Alright, it's our deck. Looks fine. I'm not mad at it. This card's good if you have a lot of trample creatures, which I don't think we have, like, any. So I guess we'll just keep it like this. Alright. Wait, do we need any, do we have any lands in here we want to play? I don't think so. Crystal Grotto's okay, but I'll just play basics, man. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, we're playing... Tushi, 24-19. Alright, on the play. Hands a little slow, but we do have a three drop, so. Three drop raccoon. If we draw that bat, that life creed duo right here, that'd be amazing. No, okay. Alright. There's our fourth land. All right, I would guess they have take out the trash. All right, land. That sucks. Haven't drawn a land yet this game. We happen to draw four of our four drops. Four out of our six four drops are in our hand. We let the Grixis deck take their time. It's not good for us. All right. If we play uh, Star Charter next turn, we we'll be in pretty good shape. Don't have no idea what this does. Okay. Four mana, two four. Wick the world mine. Whenever Wick or another rat you control enters, create a snail. If you don't control a snail, otherwise put a one one counter on it. Pay Grixis, sack a snail, deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to each opponent. Then draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power. Alright, that should be a card we kill pretty soon, I think. But we can't kill it this turn. But we can kill it next turn. get our first bit of card advantage here. Metal guard. Wow, four more cards. Non-land cards. What are we going to play next turn? 
We're gonna play Longstalk Brawl probably. Maybe Crumb and get it too. I think I'll take the Nettle Guard. There goes our Star Charter. Alright, we have Wrath. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Alright, we'll play this. We don't want to think we're not trying here. There's gotta be a very high percentage of land on top. Because we just saw four. Untap says it's a 50% chance to draw land, but that's minus the four cards that we know are on the bottom of our library. I don't think they calculate that. So we're probably at a four. I mean, whatever. Over 60% chance. No, oh, they're going to be mad after I cast Wrath. Okay, let's hope we draw land. Alright, they're all in. We just draw land here, we win. Just gotta draw land, though. Take 10. Come on. Come on! Alright, we can cast Nettle Guard and then play Crumb and Get It on it. It'll be a 5-5. Five, five. Then we could Long Stalk Brawl and kill Wix Patrol. And just hope to survive. Just draw land, please. We just might be dead, right? They just level it up. Take six. <sighs> I've drawn eleven more cards in this game. Play another creature, come on. Beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards, they lose two life. Okay, they only have two creatures in play right now, now. That sucks. So late to the party, man. So late to the party. Like, they have so many more cards in their hand before, now. Come to play tapped. No, it doesn't matter. We can't cast it anyway. Okay. All right. Pretty salty. Pretty salty. 
Just like totally, totally had it. Just needed to draw land. Okay, Alberto 74. Let's hope we get a little more lucky than we did last game. Looks okay. We need to draw green, but... Moonrise Cleric next turn, hopefully into Star Charter. 2-3 Gerbils, whenever you gift a card, draw a card. Okay, to me that means they don't have a combat trick. Should I say bat? Two bats in our hand. Okay. That's pretty easy. When they attacked last turn, they're like, Ooh, do I want to attack? Ooh, no, I won't, right? Ah, God, of course. Okay. Alrighty. I guess the plan is to play Wrath. I don't know. It's probably Rabbit, right? Should I pick Lurgoyf? I guess this is good, right? Kill their mentor now. <sighs> that was loose, right? Okay. All right, we, we're in wrath territory. I think we do it. Oh cool, nice draw. Really nice draw. Or well, I guess we do we play this instead? Yeah, I think we do this one instead. It's just like better than the bat. Do something about this crab. I guess this is the something against the crab, right? Just go nuts. Nice. Imagine they have wrath. Value just can't get past the Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Worried about getting past that five five, but I guess they didn't have a wrath, because they had a wrath they would have kept playing. Try Trily? <sighs> okay, we'll keep. We need a land, but Alright, we got our land. Patchwork banner, get us our green. 
All right, we got the life crew duo star charter combo here. All right, let's draw a wrath. Looks like we're going to need one this game. Innkeeper's talent. That one, that's put the 1-1 one, one counter every turn, right? Then we'll have a 2-3 right away, or we play Patchwork Banner. And then we could Longstock Brawl. That seems, that seems better, I think. It's probably always rabbit, right? I'm gonna say bat. F it, man. Let's try bats. Now we have a 2-3. Do we want to give them a fish? Yeah, let's give them a fish. They could have a fish. We'll give them, we'll let them keep the pump rabbit. Hope that's not a mistake. Two four. Okay. That's a lot of choices. I guess we just keep playing bats, right? Okay. Moonrise Cleric and an Innkeeper's Talent. Alright. We pay one. Our permanents with counters have Ward one. Vanishing Light? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Still in pretty good shape here, I think. Uh, I think we attack with the 4 or 5 here and then make a bunch of rabbits. Or we'll just play the 4 runner. 4 runner might be better. Gain some more life. Yeah, we'll play the Intrepid Rabbit next turn, and we'll trigger the Whisk Veil Forerunner with that. Yeah, I think we won this game. We're gaining a lot of life. So next turn, if we have all our creatures, we'll gain two life with Life Creed Duo. Plus, we'll pump up our bat. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Chromaget, it's a little late to the party. Pump up this guy. We'll pump up this guy. If they take it, we kill them. Nice. Cool. No forest needed, man. We're playing eight forests, by the way. We're playing a disproportionate amount of forests, so games like that one wouldn't happen. It's okay. Alright, four more wins. I think this deck's good. I'm happy with the pool, but, um, you know, we already had one unlucky game. That might be all it takes. You lose one, and you get unlucky once. That's the end of it. Uh, this hand looks really good. 
Rabbit, mouse, raccoon. Can we say warrior? Yeah, right? What do we play first? Probably the quest caller because we get the scry. That's going to get killed ASAP, but what are you going to do? Can we draw a crumb and get it? Oh my god, please, crumb and get it. Yep. Alright, let's play the banner and... I have a bard, warriors, soldiers, rabbits. How many warriors do I have in my deck? The Bramble Guard veteran, the three mana, three four raccoon, is a warrior. Almost none. That's it. All right, I'll say rabbit, I guess. All right, let's draw a. Crumb and get it, or a long stock brawl, or sun shower druid. Oh, that's their plan. Okay. Alright, now they play their spells, right? Ping us a million times, play our spells. Uh, one of the main reasons I picked Rabbit for the Valley Quest Caller is to make it go from 3 toughness to 4 toughness. Because take out the trash is a common removal spell that if they're red, they're playing for sure. So now this would require 2 removal spells. While at the same time, a Gate Assault is also a common removal spell that does 4 damage. So. He still gets hit with that, but... All right. We kill our four fives. We take two pings. Okay. Not this shit again, guys. Please. Keeper's talent. Double in Keeper's talent. Okay. <laughs> what? Are you serious, dude? All right. I, mean, I, I feel like we just can't win now, right? All their creatures just get like huge. Not that huge yet, right? So we could still attack with our 4 4, put them pretty low. Nettle Guard can kill one of these things. Wish we had a combat trick here. Be nice just to see a good card on top, right? Uh, that could be lethal. Putting that on the Star Charger. Okay, Star Charger survives, we survive. We have Nettle Guard to kill one of the Innkeeper's talents if they like want to go all in with one of them. But I'm feeling good. Okay, we're right there. Star Charger survives, we win.
Okay, we got it. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Great. I know the game's not over, over, but I'm feeling really nice. So we're 3 1. We have to win three more times, which is still a lot. And I'm right on the borderline here of when this thing ends, too. In real life, I would just like show them, like, hey, uh, I have lethal next turn, you know? Like, they're carefully planning out everything. MZK, MZK. Uh, we'll keep it. I mean, we've had hands like this before. Drawing a, a two drop or a one drop would be really nice. Especially a uh, Life Creed duo. duo. That's pretty good too, though. But I, I just want... Life Creed Duo, Duo, Nettle Guard, Innkeeper's Talent, Valley Cat Quest Caller. Another four drop. God, do we have do we really have that many four drops in our deck? <laughs> like I don't think we have that many. I'm gonna bluff that I have uh the blink spell. The blink uh, exile creature spell. Alright, that did not work the way I wanted it to. Alright. First play patchwork banner. A little slow. Oh yeah, what are we going to pick? Probably rabbit. So we really want to draw land. Then we could play uh, Forerunner into Brawl. God, they're looking at our banner. Do they have a artifact destruction card in their hand? That would be devastating. They milled Prawn Prophet and Forest with Dagger Fang Duo. Drew a land, that's nice. Alright, that's really good for us. Give them a fish. Oh yeah. Which one do we want? Probably this guy, right? Cool, nice turn. Now we have Intrepid Rabbit next turn, which will trigger the Forerunner again. Hopefully we still have the Forerunner in play. It'd be nice to have Crumman get it mana up, but what are you going to do? It's the second time we've cast um, Longstock Brawl with Patchwork Banner and no Forest in play. 
Patchwork Banner uh, MVP of our deck so far. And we've also named three different things, I think, right? I know we did bats once. I know we, j we just did rabbits. No, I think we've done rabbits twice, actually. Which makes sense. We're green-white, right? Yeah, so really, if we... I wouldn't be surprised if they killed our... Our, our forerunner here, although it's a 5-6, it's not easy to kill. They are black, so... Even a fight spell, but they have their own long stock brawl. No attacks, nothing, huh? Okay. Alright. Feeling great, guys. Wow. <laughs> so many triggers. Um, yeah, I guess we keep it. We're going to scry ten times, but I think we keep it. Glad we said rabbit, huh? Please play removal spell. Do it. Come on. Do it. All right, we might get blown out here, but I'm going for it. Plus two, plus two, and indestructible. Okay. Well, they could have the black season now and make us sacrifice five creatures, but... I don't love Moonlight Moonrise Cleric on top. Maybe I should have got rid of it. Alright, they kill the quest caller this way. What? What? Okay. Okay. So we'll play the cleric. Bash with all our creatures. Just being able to get the star charters online would go a long way. But again, the bat's not the best card. Even a forest would have been pretty effective, but... They're at 20? What the hell happened? I'm going to attack with all three. They'd have to double block the 4-5. And, like, that's fine. They'll, they might be happy to kill it, but then we'll do the Moonrise Cleric Star Charter game instead. Okay. Better board state, we have more cards in our hand. They just have more health than us. Seemingly not for long. Hmm. 
they're one short of being able to have the offspring on this thing. Oh, you're really killing my bat? Damn. Alright. Mm, that's pretty good. We could put a 1 1 counter on the Forerunner. That would trigger its ability. Or we save it to fight something. That's tough. It's really tough. I think we just go for it. We're going to attack them for 7 this turn. They'll go to 9. They can gain 3 life. They'll be at 12. Then we could attack them for 11 next turn. No, exactly 12. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Card types, instant creature, land, sorcery. Okay, so this is a seven seven, six mana seven seven. Yeah, okay, I think we'll take this one. The other card does trigger the valiant. Unless they have the Black Season, we're good here. Okay. Alright, cool. Nice. Alright, 4-1. Two more to go. Dracaris 26. By the way, I'm filming this on Sunday. Season finale of House of the Dragons on tonight. I'll be watching. Hand looks really good. Maybe our best hand yet. I'm like scared it's so good. Turn one Brave King duo. Turn two Innkeeper's Talent. Turn three Bramble Guard Veteran. Turn four Whisk Veil Forerunner with a way to use the Valiant. Counterspell? Come on, you have it, sicko? Oh, he's doing the frog thing. Got it. Okay, we get a card. Alright. Obviously very good for them. That resolves. We'll probably, probably win this game. Oh god, what does this do? 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, Vigilance. Tap for blue or green. Whenever this or another creature you control enters, return one target creature you control with lesser amount of value to its owner's hand. Target creature you control. Okay. Oh god, my hand gets a lot worse with them countering that. That's for sure. Especially following up with the three-three. That taps for mana. Alright, I hope we draw land. We could draw land here, right? Black, so they probably have that other frog, right? Oh, another rare? So we've seen rare, rare counter spells so far? Forage, search a library, squirrel card, reveal it, and show them. Oh, we missed a land drop? That's weird. That's so weird. That's so weird, right? Isn't that weird, guys? That never happens. Oh, my God. This is so close to an absolute nuts hand. Very unfortunate.
The only saving grace is they just had two cards in their hand. Oh, come on. Okay. Why do they keep reading my creatures? One card in their hand. That's it. Looks like they're going to play it this turn. We got this. We got this. Come on. We can't let them go nuts with these cards. They have seven mana to cast a creature spell. We need some lands, we need some interaction. Come on, let's go guys, come on. That's good for us. So this is four mana, search your life for a squirrel card. They probably have like at least three targets there. Wow, they didn't use it? All right, what do they have? Why didn't they, they even had mana up for it, right? I think they had mana up. They had four mana up. Uh, I don't know. Come on. We got this. We can win this game. We drawn an extra card this game as well with Long River's Pull. Alright, there's the first threat. Can we just draw a land then we can attack with a 4-5? Now we can go crazy. Okay. Two cards in their hand. We need one mana to make our four or five get another creature. That's all we need, one mana. And we can leave cr uh, Crumb and Get It mana open too. If they tap out or they play both cards in their hand, then we can cast Chrome and get it safely. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. We got this. We got this. How do we miss? We're not supposed to miss with this deck. Oh. <sighs> 
four, eight, nine. So it's it has nine power and three, four, five, six, seven. A nine, seven. Four for one. Not really, right? Because we cast two spells. Okay. I'm so scared of like the blue season. I don't even know what the green season does, but probably scared of that too. I don't even know what to play this on. You can't possibly miss again, right? What did we count? It was like 15 targets or something? Alright. Fine. Oh, it still works. Oh, but then these cards get shuffled away. Ah. <sighs> Oh no, it's gone! That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. I think we say this on uh, Raccoon. Since we have the Rush Shield Rampager in our hand, too. No. You have a removal spell? Sure. <clears throat> All right, let's go for it. Let's fight the three three. Why do I never read this card correctly? Read the card! Okay, yeah, I guess we'll put it here. That's definitely what I wanted to do. Definitely the good play. God, I th every time, I, every, I, not every time, it's been twice, but I'm not going to forget it again. This fight's a creature token. Alright, that's not great. Like for him. Oh, it's Vigilance too, right? It's fine. Okay, they have nothing. Five one guys. Thankfully, our nutty hand was uh, nutty enough, even though they countered the key spell, and we got stuck on three lands forever. I think we broke even. No, we actually made coin uh, gems. These 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 uh, qualifier play-ins are very profitable. I think. 
Actually, if you win, I don't know if you get anything. If you get six wins. Well, we'll see. We'll find out soon. So, Basilisk Dragon. Win and we're in. Uh, we need a second green, which is basically never going to happen. And we have three four drops. So not our best hand ever, but... We still draw a two drop or a forest here. <sighs> Alright, it's a three drop at least. One three, okay. Alright, there's another, we need another green. And we've drawn no lands this game so far. None. Any land would be great. We'll play this duo here. Have a nice attack. Oh, that card's really good. Now we need to kill that ASAP, right? Whenever a bat you control attacks, oh, you gain one life. When this enters or attacks, you may pay two and two life. When you do return target non-land permanent, amount of value three or less from the graveyard of the battlefield with finality counter on it. Okay. God, we're just gonna, we have nothing. Why do we have nothing? Come on. We take four. Just say go. Don't play Star Charger. Oh man. God, are we really gonna lose this game? I mean, get it's a lot worse now. We're really behind. Fuck, man. We're gonna take six. We're gonna go to nine. So disheartening. Imagine if we just drew a forest on turn two. This guy would be on play in play. We'd have this on turn three. We'd have this on turn four. You know, if we draw Life Creed Duo and they don't have a removal spell, that would be nice. Oh my god. We do have Wrath in our deck still. So if we draw you know, land, land, Wrath, we'll be dead before that happens. Okay. We're alive. Sort of. Okay. Got to draw another land. And then we can play a creature and have Crumb and Get a mana open. And then we need Wrath. Now we can. F's in the chat, guys. Just got so unlucky. Oh my god, so unlucky. I think it was 4,000 to enter. We, we profited 2,000. Damn, man. Good deck. Just just drew bad every game. <laughs> uh, yeah, good pool. Just not not lucky enough. Um, I don't even know I have enough time for another one. Sign up ends in 29 minutes. Can you guys see that? You can't see that. I want to show you. Nope. My face is still there. There it is. See? 29 minutes. Guess I'll do another one, probably.
catch you tomorrow's video. You're going to think, oh, an hour-long video. He didn't do so good. Not this time. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you later.